have about 100 honoraries at all times in Canada serving. And uh, basically we've got three roles. Uh, one is we uh, uh, serve as a liaison between the community as a whole and the military. We also serve as a liaison between the military and our regiment and government. And the last role, which is probably the most important and certainly was the most important when I joined, uh, which was during the Afghanistan tour, and that is to uh, help families uh, of fallen soldiers or families of injured soldiers. And Canada has a uh, worldwide history of being leaders in peacekeeping and leaders in uh, defending human rights, uh, all of these things. And you see all of that through a military experience. Uh, it's very eye-opening. The military has the capability of sending their injured families any place they wish in Canada. And uh, we have military families that have been treated here in Edmonton uh, from every province in Canada. And my question was, where did these people stay when they're here? And uh, the answer was, the military is very good. They'll allow them to stay in motels or hotels nearby, etc. And because uh, Doreen and I were involved earlier with uh, Compassion House and help raise money for Ronald McDonald House, et cetera. We said, why wouldn't we build a home for the families uh, that are here while their members are being treated? And that was the start of Valor Place. Out of all of the things I've been involved with in voluntary position, uh, that has been the most onerous, but by far the most rewarding. Most things that we work on on a volunteer basis produce better results produce a better sense of community, produce pride in the community. Uh, I, I believe very strongly in volunteerism. The Mazankowski, the Citadel, political things, uh, the Stollery, the Grant McEwen, I mean, all of these are in need of volunteers all the time. And, and uh, I just feel I have gained so much from this province and this community that no matter how long or how hard I contribute, I'll never be able to give back what I've received.